Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am Adrienne, I live in New York City and I love playing with makeup, but I have a lot of it and I'm currently on a 30 day lip challenge where I play with all the products I have and try to figure out what I can let go of, what I really love, what I have duplicates of, what I wanna share my thoughts on, all that good stuff. And today is day 28, and I have been waiting for this one for a while. I went shopping on Yes Style, and I kind of grabbed a bunch of brands that everyone said I had to have in my life, that they had the best lip product, and they recommended a bunch of lip products. So I actually picked up five lip products and I've been testing them. I definitely have opinions. In fact, two of them I've already done videos on. The first was on the Shrew Amura, um, like it was like a velvet lip. I'll, I'll link it down below. It was a gorgeous fuchsia color. It's a great formula and I felt like it deserved its own video. I also did a video because I felt like it needed it because it was really the best lip tint I've ever tried. And that one was by Tony Moly. It is the Perfect Lips, Shocking Lips. So I did a whole video on that one. So I'm sort of left with the final three plus one that my sister had and she wanted me to try it and see what I thought. So I have four lip products to talk about today. So I thought we would just have fun, talk about the different formulas. Let's start off with the Laneige Layering Lip Bar. I have mine in the color number two, Milk Blurring. It's a really beautiful, unique component. And you open it and it has, I'm gonna try to clean it off so you can really see. It has different layers. Of color it's this sort of ombre layered effect it's a really cool concept the idea here and you just sort of push it down so the idea is this is going to create that kind of ombre effect and you can do it one of both ways you can do it kind of darker going lighter and or lighter going darker it really just depends you just want to make sure that when you apply it you kind of follow that logic it smells exactly like ysl lip products it smells very floral fragrant maybe a little less intense than ysl but i almost feel like it's the exact scent from ysl and then what you want to do is you just want to remember to flip it over So that is like if you did it with the ombre kind of in the middle. I think it's very pretty, almost like editorial looking. It's a vibe, it's a look. The formula is really nice and creamy, almost bomb-like, really thin. You'll see as I start to kind of mush my lips together, it's gonna start to migrate. And truly, then it just kind of looks to me like you forgot to put on your lip product everywhere. You can just apply it like a regular lip product and then kind of apply the darker on the outside. And when I do it like that, it ends up being like a poppy corally pink color. It's really nice. The number one reason I don't like this product is, well, I feel it's a little gimmicky, but kind of fun. So I, I'll set that part aside. And that ultimately what's gonna end up happening is you're just gonna have to like the color it all blends into, cause how, how can you live you know, with this ombre look. Again, for photographs, maybe cool, but for practicality, it's gonna blend. It's gonna blend. My number one issue is that scent. Um, for me, and whatever's in this when it comes to the fragrance, is actually ends up being really quite drying on my lips. I would have never known that Laneige, who I think of like as putting more kind of softer scents in their lip products. Of course, their lip sleeping mask is like the number one. I've never had any issues with their lip sleeping mask and the scents are quite nice and I like their glow balm. I've never had issues. So I don't know why with this product they put kind of a very floral fragrance, but for that reason, it's not for me. But if you don't mind and you are a YSL person and you like balms, 
this might be a product you really like especially if the blended color is something that interests you um, but. next up is the holica holica water drop tint balm i feel like i heard about this product for years and, and people just go nuts over it this one is number two pomegranate water and it's i like the component because it shows the color and it's this nice kind of applicator it has a little bit of a edge to it which you could follow and when you put it on It feels super interesting. Like as you're putting it on, it feels like water, like you've applied water and you're like, what, what's happening? So it is a very cool experience. And this one has also like a very candy scent. I find more often than not, the K-Beauty brands, they put a very sweet candy-like scent in their products. So a couple of things with this one. With this one layer, you're getting essentially like the tint of it. My issue is it's super patchy, like it grabbed in certain areas. I don't know if you could tell. Kind of grabbed in certain areas and in others it didn't. Also tastes like really gross, like toxic. And I don't like that. And I don't love the patchiness. I love the color like from afar. I think it's a really pretty kind of tan soft tangerine color. But I don't love that patchiness. And the problem is as you... If you try to correct it, if you try to build it up, it's gonna be patchy in other places. So that is a second layer. I hope you can see it has like, it's dropped like certain kinds of like darker pigments around. And when you try to kind of like mush your lips together to blend, it's, it's not like a hydrating product. It's actually quite sticky and again, kind of tastes a little funny and doesn't make those little pigments go away. I don't know if you can see, it has all these little pigment dots. Hmm. So I don't know. I don't know if I got a bad one, I got a bad batch, I got the wrong color or something, but this is just, the outcome is not something I really love. Um, it is a really cool application. It's a cool component but I think like they have to do a better job in somehow blending the product. I don't know. I don't know how you fix it. I don't know how you fix it. All right, next up is Etude House's Dear Darling Tint. I have it in the color, I'm actually not sure what these colors are. This one here, it's the one in the pink that has more of a lavender and the blue that has a little bit more of a wine color. And these are super adorable. I mean, so much of K-Beauty, I think, is like that youthful spirit, which keeps makeup really fun. These have a crazy scent. This scent that goes back to childhood, they smell exactly like grape bubblicious. My sister figured that one out because I was like, what the hell is this? I, I, I know this smell. She's like, it's, it's grape bubblicious. And that was a gum we used to chew when we were children. So she is right. These have a really beautiful texture going on. They have that applicator that's like a bit of an angle, but it has an, a pocket of, for color, for some pigment, and a little tip, which makes it easy to apply. So that's the mauve colored one. I really like the way it looks initially. I think it's really, really pretty. And it's very comfortable when you're, when it's still in that kind of wet phase. That scent is very strong though, and it will permeate, <laughs> you will smell it. So you have to kind of like it. The taste is strong, but it's not, doesn't taste toxic. It tastes like a little sweet, a little candy-like. I still don't love that it has a taste. Just gonna give this a couple of minutes to dry down and then I'll jump back on. I gave it a bit and I just blotted once, barely any color came off, just so you could see, just around the edges. And this is the stain that's left behind. Again, similar to the Holica Holica, I don't like how the stain is really patchy. I also don't like that the stain is quite kind of fuchsia pink when the color was this really pretty mauve. So for that reason, I'm not the biggest fan of, of this color. However, I wanna show you this color. 
Same scent, that bubblicious bubblegum grape. So there is that color, freshly applied. I love this color, like I'm I'm really hoping, like as I put this on, like whatever stain this yields, I'm, I bet I will like it better kind of feeling. We're gonna give it a, or a few minutes to dry. So here is that color. I much prefer this color. It is a lot more even, not perfect. It's not a perfect, perfect stain, but it's definitely more popsicle. And the color I feel is more flattering. And I do really like the way that it looks. So of the two, I definitely prefer this little guy. Last up is the 3CE Slim Velvet Lip Color. I have mine in the shade hashtag go get it. And I love the component. It's matte and slim. You know exactly what color you are getting. It feels very luxe. And then here, it's just a nice slim bullet. It's just full color, really thin, gives you a minute to purse your lips together and kind of mix the product in. And there you have it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, super thin, not completely powdery texture, but it does have that velvety sort of texture, but really, really thin and super easy to control and apply. This is a wonderful, comfortable, long wear matte formula. I really think it's extraordinary. They are transfer resistant. So you see it has like a light halo, but it's really not going anywhere. I love this color. I think it's a beautiful berry. If you are into Charlotte Tilbury colors, this is near identical to Amazing Amal. So if you're into matte lipsticks that are comfortable and you don't like the liquid lipstick and the dry down, but more of a velvety long wear, this is a great lip product. So I'm happy that I ventured into the world of Yes Style and trying different brands. I feel like I definitely found some amazing products. Those are my thoughts regarding these products. I hope it helps you maybe explore some of the unknowns for you. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you find out when I post tomorrow's video, day 29. I hope everyone is having a great weekend and we'll talk soon. Take care everyone.